that if, that if one of these wells hits oil, that news spreads, it goes viral through the industry. And, and uh, whatever leasing still could be done here will go crazy. It'll, it'll, if with one well comes in here, things are going to get w way wilder, way quicker overnight, regardless of what, because it's what Josh said. You guys have to go where the oil is. You, you, don't, you don't go where the regulations are less, you go where the oil is. But if the oil, but there. In, in this case, we're talking about a resource play that you don't access until you navigate the maze of the most complicated, restrictive, protective oil and gas regulations in the world. You don't just throw the switch one day and show up and say, here we are. I, the reality is, it's a, it, is a, it, is a, it is a process that, you know, Tisha talked about 2008, it was, a, it, was a, it was a defining political issue across the state, how restrictive they were. They were. Some people, including myself, said it chased away investment. You know, Governor Ritter and those who support him didn't, you know, said that it didn't, but everybody agreed these things go significantly farther than anyone has contemplated. Meanwhile, you have a host of federal restrictions that come, come to bear as well. Anybody who will argue, it's impossible to argue with a straight face that the oil and gas industry is not one of the already, with everything that's in place, the most restricted regulated industries in the country, and they should be. So that's why that, for that, that point of reference is critical for counties as they step in to identify those legitimate functions and areas where there is a role, but also to recognize that there are meaningful protections in place. So t to your point, um, there is a point at which oil and gas producers won't develop an area. And you, and, and you can, like any business, you have to do the calculus of the cost versus the potential um, profit. And I think that the, those economics are very real. There are many plays um, across the country, and really, more relevant, there are plays around the world. And so attracting investment to a state is important. And then there's the further question of, if re from your question, are regulations being designed simply to obstruct oil and gas development, which to our mind is not an appropriate use of regulations. If something is regulated by the state, it shouldn't be regulated again by the county. It's, not appro it's just not appropriate, it's not fair and it's redundant, so.